Hey everybody, I'm gonna make some guacamole to go with dinner. You wanna have some? I'll show you how I like to make it and um, if it helps any of you liven up your guacamole, I'm all for it. Um, avocados were on sale this weekend and I picked up several so it's a good way to use them up and we love it. I actually plan dinner tonight around being able to make guacamole. So I'm gonna use the manual food processor to start and I like to just do all vegetables in my guacamole and um, I just love how fresh it tastes and it's just a good way to eat a little healthier. So I'm gonna show you a few tools. This is called the veggie wedger. It's hard to see, but it comes to a point and it's serrated. So it's gonna slip right through this onion. You can also use it on um, oranges or potatoes. See, get that just like that. So I just want um, a single wedge, but I'm actually gonna get my cilantro done first. So I've got some fresh cilantro here. I love cilantro, I don't know about you. Some people think it tastes like soap. Are you one of those people? <laughs> um, I love it though, I could use it in all sorts of things. So I'm gonna get that in the manual food processor first. So that's all done. And now we're gonna add the hard thing. So I'm gonna throw in um, one of the wedges of onion and then I have this jalapeno that I've already taken the seeds out. So I'm gonna throw that in. And then I'm gonna add a clove of fresh garlic. I'm gonna press that straight through my garlic press. Throw that all in there. Smells good already. Okay, so we're just gonna pulse this first. I like to add fresh tomatoes to the guac too, but we wanna do these ingredients first and then we'll add the rest. Just check it, it's all minced. Done, okay, now we'll throw in some tomatoes. And I just picked up some grape tomatoes, so we'll throw those in there. Hopefully they'll, they're not too, um, you know, this time of year they're not great, but we'll get them in there. So the manual food processor works best on turbo speed, so it goes super fast. There we go. So it's kind of like a little bit of a salad. So we'll let that be for just a little bit. Let me show you a tip for storing cilantro. The bag that I have from the store, I just put it over the top, but you'll see I store my cilantro in a glass with some water and I find that it stays fresh for a lot longer uh, for two reasons. First, I don't forget about it because I just put it in the front of my fridge, but also you want to treat your fresh herbs like you do flowers. So if they're staying hydrated, they're gonna last a lot longer and that'll make it taste even yummier. All right, let's get the avocados ready. So if you're new to buying avocados and they're bright green and hard, it's okay to buy them. They'll be good in about three days. Um, store them on your countertop and then once they feel like they're ripe, you can use it right away or stick it in the fridge until you're ready. I'm gonna use the all-purpose spreader. Just poke it come all the way around and never ever whack your guac your avocados with a knife. That is super dangerous. I talked about that once on this group and said there's no more pit whacking. So I want you to remember that mantra. To get the um, avocado out, um, especially for something like this, did you know you could just squeeze the uh, peel and it falls right out? Same thing, when you have the side with the pit, squeeze it gently and your pit just comes right up, just like that. So you don't have to whack it with a pit. I know people who've missed and hit the artery in their hand. And yes, I'm on a mission to gross everybody out with that because I want you all to be safe. Um, but we love avocados. And if you've got more than you can use, you can add some to a smoothie. You can uh, put it on toast in the morning. That's really good. Uh, see, squeeze, it comes right up. There goes the pit. And some avocado on a sandwich is really yummy. That's got the right kinds of fats, so it's really delicious. All right, I'm gonna add some lime. So when you're buying limes, they should feel heavy for their size, and then look for the yellowish patches. Those are the ones that are best. They're the juiciest. I usually add a little bit of lime juice and orange juice to my guacamole, and today I forgot to pick up an orange, so we're just gonna make traditional today. But trust me, if you add a little bit of both, the orange is a little bit sweet and it's really delicious. So I'm gonna stick it cut side down right into the citrus press. Oh, lots of juice. 
throw that in there. All right, now take your mix and chop and you can chop up your avocado. Some people like their guacamole to be super smooth. And if you do, you can obviously make it as smooth as you like. I like it to be a little bit chunky still. So I'll show you up close what I'm talking about. And this looks perfect to me. So it's still kind of on the chunky side. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put all of this salad type mixture into it. So sometimes when you're shopping, you're gonna see like packets of dry mixes you can add to uh, your avocados to make guacamole. I don't like that, I think it's, it's processed. So if you're trying to eat whole foods today, this is all whole foods. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And I've got a mixing scraper, but you know what, this works too. Check that out everybody. Guacamole is done. So what am I gonna serve this on tonight? A couple nights ago we did the Caribbean rice bowls for dinner and there was a lot more rice than we needed. So tonight we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna use that rice to make burrito bowls. So we'll have some rice, I've got some refried beans, um, I'll have some corn and uh, more tomatoes. We'll throw the guacamole on top and um, I think I've got some Greek yogurt for those that wanna have a dollop of that. So you can reuse your leftovers and make them brand new. So um, I know lots of you do that already, um, but this just seemed like a great way to be able to make some fresh guacamole. So try it out. And um, if you do, let us know how it turns out. Post your pictures of your dinner tonight in this thread. That would be super fun. All right, you guys, have a good night.